Okay, so let's continue with actividad 18, 18 on página 232. Before we continue on with this activity 18, if you need a little bit more help with your gramática, let me unplug my phone. There we go. Um, I have written with your possessive adjectives in your gramática. I writ wrote these down. Um, so you can look at Señor Jordan or Butterfly Spanish and it'll go more into depth. It's, I think it'll be really helpful if you take a look at those. Actually, I know it, it will be very helpful. So let's look at Actividad 18. And right here it says La Cenicienta y su familia. So what do you think Cenicienta means in English? Cinderella. So Cinderella and blank familia. So su is a word that, a possessive adjective that you've just learned. And, um, and I wrote these down in English. Um, I wrote down the pronouns. So me means my, tu, tus means your, and it's informal. So you would say tu to a person that's your age, uh, someone younger than you or close to your age, uh, but you would use your, formal, su, uh, if you were talking to someone older than you, for example, your boss, a teacher, someone's parent. Um, so then we have nuestro, nuestra, means our, and then su, we have it again, but it basically, be, depending on the context of the sentence, it can take on either of these words. It can mean either of these words. So now that we know that su means either one of these words, well, if we read the sentence, we'll know which one they're using by the context. Cinderella and blank family. Well, we immediately know that it's her. Cinderella and her family. Escribe la palabra o los adjetivos posesivos apropiados para completar la historia de la Cenicienta. La Cenicienta es un personaje de un cuento muy famoso. ¿Quién es? So what does all of this say? Well, I know that you know a lot of these words here. Many of these. You know what escribe means? It means write down. You know what la means? The. Palabra means word, o means or, los means the, possessive adjectives, this word means appropriate, so write down the word or the appropriate possessive adjectives to complete the, okay, so right here we have the story, but right here we see the, and remember that de shows possession or relationship. So, write down the word or the appropriate possessive adjectives to complete Cinderella's story. Cinderella is a character, and right here we have de again. So. Cinderella is a very famous stories character. Who is it? So what we're going to do is I will read all of this and then I will tell you what this means in English and then after I have read this and then told you what it means in English, then you're going to fill in the blanks. And then you're going to um, come back to this video and see if you filled them in correctly. Okay, so let's start with number one. Cenicienta tiene una madrastra y dos hermanastras muy perezosas. Okay, so in each one of these blanks, you have your possessive adjectives that you have to fill in. 
So what does all of this say? What does it mean? Cinderella has a stepmother and two very lazy stepsisters. Okay. Um, blank stepsisters' names are Griselda and Anastasia. Blank stepmother and blank stepsisters always say Cenicienta, Cinderella. Tenemos hambre. We're hungry. Donde esta blank comida? Where is blank food? Cada mañana Griselda le dice Every morning Griselda tells her Quiero Blank desayuno. I want blank breakfast. ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Una noche, Cenicienta va al baile del príncipe. One night, Cinderella goes to the princess's dance. Él le pregunta a Cenicienta, ¿cómo te llamas? He asks Cinderella, what is your name? ¿Quiénes son blank padres? Who are blank parents? Las hermanastras, blank Cenicienta, ven al príncipe cuando baila con Cenicienta. The stepsisters, blank Cinderella, Watch the prince when he dances with Cinderella. Ellas dicen, blank, hermanastra baila con el príncipe. ¡Qué ridículo! They say, blank stepsister dances with the prince. How ridiculous. Okay, so now stop this uh, video and then fill these in. And then come back and see if you filled them incorrectly. Okay, so for number one, we have Cenicienta tiene una madrastra y dos hermanastras muy perezosas. So you should have put down sus. Sus hermanastras se llaman Griselda y Anastasia. Why did we choose sus? Her. Her stepsisters' names are Griselda and Anastasia. And then number two, you should have gotten su. Su madrastra y sus hermanastras siempre dicen Cenicienta. Tenemos hambre. ¿Dónde está? So you should have gotten nuestra because right here they're talking about they are hungry. We are hungry. Tenemos hambre. Where is our food? Cada mañana Griselda le dice, quiero, so you should have gotten for number five, me. I want my breakfast. Where is it? Una noche, Cenicienta va al baile del príncipe. Él le pregunta a Cenicienta, ¿cómo te llamas? ¿Quiénes son tus? Why is it tus? Because padres is plural. Who are your parents? The stepsisters de Cenicienta, so Cinderella's stepsisters, Ven al príncipe, see the prince when he dances with Cinderella. They say, so for number eight, you should have gotten nuestra. Our stepsister dances with the prince. How ridiculous.